It's Channel 4 News at 6 o'clock. Welcome to Channel 4 News. I'm Ron Burgundy. And I'm Veronica Corninson. We have the latest breaking news. PRG Schultz International is in big trouble. The audit recovery market leader is facing their biggest challenges yet. As the company's sales are declining, PRG's stock price has lost nearly half the value over the previous three months. After hiring Jim McCrory, it's a successful business entrepreneur with extensive upper operating experience both in building and in turning around businesses, we look at how it all went wrong and how this market leader got themselves into this bad situation. The industry was described as declining and client related factors could be a major factor here. Clients have re had reduced the percentage of recovered funds that they paid to their auditor for firms. Clients were reducing the number of errors they made from learning from past mistakes and clients were beginning to do some auditing work in-house whereas before they had outsourced to audit recovery firms. Also, sales declined from 447 million in 2002 to 357 million in 2004. In 2003 and 2004, PRG lost 230 million net income. PRG's day sales are standing was nearly 60 days, where payment terms were 30 days. It has historically been 50 days, although nobody, this proves that nobody had been keeping an eye on PRG's DSOs. The company seemed to have been spending a lot of money on unnecessary features. PRG were living the life of a Fortune 500 million company, but according to Mr. McCurry, they were worth $300 million at most. Expenses such as a corporate jet, a large leather walled conference room, outfitted with expensive custom furniture, were proof of this. As the company were living well beyond their means, uh, many, with many believing that they were better off than they actually were. Financial forecast. With Brian Fontana and Brick Tamman. Thanks, Ron. Mr. McCurry had a sunny start to life at PRG by looking at the accounts receivable to see if there was any cash that could be brought in. He found that PRG's DSO was almost 60 days. Mr. McCurry felt the terms were clear, so he felt justified in trying to reduce the DSO to 30 days. Mr. McCurry knew PRG needed to cut costs and do so quickly. He appointed Dan Connors to identify specific cuts that could be made. He eliminated expensive perks such as the corporate jet, club memberships, assigned parking and some senior staff. Connors' report benchmarked PRG's SG&A expenditures against those of comparable companies and found they were higher than average. He determined that the company needed to reduce costs by 45 million annually to bring PRG closer to the average of comparable companies. Curry recognised that cost reductions were not enough on their own, so he hired investment bank Rothschild Incorporated, who made it clear what PRG needed to do. McCurry was quoted as saying, the only way anybody was going to put new money into PRG was if we had some credible plan to change the cash flow situation. Now over to Brick. Hi, I'm Brick Townman. I love that I'm... As you can see, the forecast is pretty negative. Although McCurry made many positive actually in the first eight weeks at PRG, some of these had a negative impact on the firm. You see, a storm is brewing in the firm. Money needed to be saved and costs cut in order to meet the payroll in September. These instantaneous costs could create a cloudy atmosphere among the employees who have gotten used to all the perks. One negative action we made was also going to the bank, underprepared. He was told not to worry, and that he had a great relationship with the bank. But this did not turn out to be true, and they ended up having to pay what they owed, which was 15 million. If he had done more research into the relationship, he may have been able to get a small extension, which would have given him a chance to prove to the bank he could turn P or G around. Back to you at the studio, Ron. And now over to David Koshner in the field. Ron and Veronica, I'm here in Atlanta, PRG Show's headquarters. I've just spoken with Jim McCurry, the company's CEO, and he told me of their future plans. First, top management will experience some wage cuts. Wages will no longer be based on staff's relationships to board members. From now on, staff will be working in the fields for which they're qualified. Secondly, the company's organizational culture will change. 
all employees will be treated equally, especially in terms of bonuses. And finally, PRG shows will further explore new activities such as shipping, tax payments and medical services which will help pay the interest to the bondholders. It'll be interesting to see how this story develops. I'm David Koshner from Channel 4 News. Back to you in the studio. The entire Channel 4 Newsroom. Thanks for sticking with us. I'm Veronica Cornerstone. And I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy in industry. Avenue is getting so exciting. Skyrockets in flight. Woo! Afternoon delight. Whoop. You guys have it, I think. Huh. Afternoon delight. <laughs>